Ah, I think I will forget a lot today. Sorry. Uh, my calendar is is coming out. You stay here and you bless everybody. Huh? <laughs> While I talk. Or oh, you talk and I I just <laughs> sit there. It would be nicer. And uh, so we do really need wisdom, okay? Not because it gets initiation and secure and then you don't have to grow up anymore. We do have to. People outside, when you hire them for something the disciple cannot do, yes. the Taiwanese cannot do, they hire outside the people. Oh, they're absolutely polite. They even stay late at night to finish just a roof, glass roof for me. They stay overnight and they stay until late at night to do it. And even then, it was their new year. It's the most important for them, but they stay to do it. I did not ask, but they knew I need it. I stay on the roof, you know, and then they put the filter sunglass on top for me. And they stayed late. Of course, later I reward them with extra money. I say, this is for your wife, your kids at home. When you get home, you say, this for New Year, so they don't complain why you stay late. And they don't doubt that maybe you stay somewhere else. <laughs> this money is the proof. And tell them they can call me. <laughs> call my people here to prove that you were here all this time with all your workers and many other eyewitnesses. <laughs> uh, he said, no problem. You know, we are working. We are not uh, doing anything. I say, you know, I know, but the wife doesn't know. We women are very, very, uh, you know, careful about husbands and men. We never trust 100%. We always reserve something to prove. Yeah, for fun. <laughs> Just to have something to think about, uh, to be on edge, you know, to be alive. Like, we're still here. Uh, watch us, okay? <laughs> we shop. <laughs> uh, and later I gave much more extra money, not, not just the overtime, you know. They didn't want to take it. They respect me so much, even they're not disciples. Respect so everybody was willing to stay and, and work. Uh, but I gave them extra money for overtime and then for New Year, for them, and for extra more for the family. I said, this is for your wife, okay? Tell her why you got this money. Yeah, so that she doesn't complain or she doesn't feel hurt that maybe you treat the work more importantly than your family, even on New Year Eve time. I really appreciate that you stay. I did not expect it, but I really appreciate it so much that tonight I can stay here now. I don't have to stay in the, in the room downstairs. Yeah, I don't like the room. <laughs> it's just an empty roof, yeah, and then they put a tent for me, and I was so happy there. Really, I was reluctant to leave. Only after I discovered the cave, then, then I was not reluctant anymore. I moved immediately. <laughs> I love at first sight. But I was very pleased up there. I was so contented with the tent and the roof, and uh, empty, empty everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I was truly happy. During the retreat, I had to stay. I had to bear it until after the retreat. But I had to wear the shoes instead of walking bare feet like in the house that I like. I wore the slippers in case. I didn't touch the, the wood door, the poisonous door. I, I used cloth or something. I, I did with the elbow, yeah, with the cloth, you know, already on, to avoid in case, yeah? Because I'm sensitive, I'm fragile, I'm small. No? I'm the smallest around here, am I? Not? Yes? Yeah, don't you consider that? Without the high heels, you wouldn't find me at all. Where is Master? <laughs> she disappeared? <laughs> yeah, one time I was in France, uh, SMC Center, yeah? And I always invite uh, the Westerners, because they're very small, and short-term Westerners to come to my little hut behind the center. And I put vegan bread and even just vegan butter. They say, oh, yum, yum, yum. I put anything, yum, 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 whatever I gave you, yum, yum. They like it. They kind of was oh, so eager to get just a morsel. And then because it was in my place, I didn't wear high heel. I just wore similar like this, yeah? If you were there or not, I don't remember. If you don't remember, you were not there. None of you. Huh? Imagine, you were there. You ate my bread? Yes. Okay, see that? One witness. And of course, so I wore a sandal, you know, slippers, yeah? And I wore this among the robe. 
I was chopping bread for everybody and putting some vegan mayonnaise or whatever I had uh, that they prepared for me in the fridge. I said, bring more bread. Even just bread alone, they take it like gold. Oh, my God. I never see it. It's like hungry goats or something. <laughs> That's already eaten dinner, you know? This is extra. But, oh, everybody like, oh, my God. I thought I could open a shop and sell to disciples. <laughs> and I earn millions in no time, surely. They fight for it, you know? <laughs> queue in outside, you know? And make it, me more famous, yeah? And outsider, even queue with them, must be good. Because a lot of people queue, they don't know, the disciple, they queue for anything, as long as I'm there. <laughs> they just queuing, queuing, you know? If I open a stinky tofu shop, oh, I'm sure you all will be standing there drooling all day long, huh? Come back again and again, huh? So I would chop in bread, you know, and, and some more people keep coming, you know, because it's a small place, just like a small corridor. And I had a little hut, you know, a, maybe two by two by one and a half, something like that. Those uh, storeroom that are ready made, you buy and then you put there and you just stay. It's wonderful. I love this kind of arrangement. I never like any big building, bang, bang, boom, boom, cement. I don't feel the difference between a big room and a small room. I'm small, you know, luckily also. I enjoy this kind of quick build, you know, simple. You live inside, you feel, you feel like, okay, you have accomplished something, just the way you like it. And then I chop chop bread and one of your sister, huh? her husband was there and, and, and she was there and she looked at me head to toe, toe to head again and said, oh, without the high heel, you look so small. <laughs> I said, how can she guess? <laughs> I said, how can you guess? <laughs> Didn't you know this before? I'm glad you noticed now. Probably with your wisdom eye open. <laughs> Even a simple place doesn't mean lousy, sloppy, or shabby. Simple place can be very beautiful, very cute and lovely, and very warm, you know? Cozy, cozy. I like those. I'm also busy. I don't need to clean too big, you know? Yeah. That kind of how you clean in zoop, one second to the maximum, right? Yeah. Very quickly. And you don't need a lot of things, just a, just a towel, huh? A cleaning cloth, I said. You don't need a lot of vacuum cleaner, and one thing less. Yeah, tell me, Nick. You look wise and old. I mean, not all wise. Old, old, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, the same I, boat. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. I, I had a house uh, uh, with a wooden wooden uh, floor, mm. and it was uh, very, very old, but it was still new. Mm. And everybody would come in and say, "Why don't you put that? You know, the the shellac, uh, all this shiny thing." The, the, ah, the, and the I said, polish no, no, in I, it, right? I like like that. Mm. I will go with the vacuum cleaner, clean up, and I love it. But everybody else wanted yeah, that shiny know, know, thing. No, me. They have nothing else to do. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like if you're just sniffing a little bit, ten, ten people come up and tell you, take this, take that. Go, that doctor is good. That doctor, no, no. I, I know something, home remedy, take this. And then they give you 10,000 medicines <laughs> of, out of love. Yeah. Uh, uh, some people say, oh, why don't you tear it down and build a new one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like no, this. I like, I like they simple. They told me like that <laughs> with my old farmhouse in Spain. I we don't. are the same, on the same boat. I didn't even live there. I live in a, outside in a small uh, hut I bought myself. It was too small, actually, one, 160 and 190. But I fit. I even had a heater inside, a small television as well, and some hook to hang my clothes. And I bought some small square thing, like and they made it ready, you know, a square box like this, and you have two drawers in it. So I bought uh, about 10 of them and put them together, it became a bed. And I put a mattress or whatever I had on it. And that was wonderful. I had my clothes under my tools, even hammer and air, yeah, hammer and screwdriver, all kind of stuff. You have no idea. Yeah, I had all, it was organized. <laughs> yes, and then I was very happy. But they say, oh, this house. Any worker came to help me, always advise me something. I said, does that cost me something also? Is that included in the price that you, <laughs> you fixed my pie or not? <laughs> Just a joke, you know, yeah. Anybody who came there and always advised me, tear it down, build a modern one. 
I said, I don't even live in it. <laughs> what for? <laughs> Just leave it there, souvenir. Yeah? And if it becomes ruined, then in Spain we have many ruins everywhere. So it's a joint the club. Yeah. So what for do you take care of the things that you don't need and they're unnecessary? It's not even obliged, obliged by law. Yeah. But everybody who came. The guy who fixed the road a little bit, you, that house is too old already. I said, it's still little, it's still standing. Yeah. <laughs> you must build a new one. I know a one a builder, very good, very fast, cheap. I said, no need cheap or expensive. I just don't need to. Ah, later I was tired, so I said, okay, okay, I think about it. Maybe if I want, I call you, okay? Huh? Give me your phone number quickly. And then they're happy. Yeah, yeah. Call me, huh? Yeah, I'm always available for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and sometimes I didn't call them. They call me. Hey, your house? How about, <laughs> how about it now? I said, nothing, it's the same night before. You want to go have a look? Be welcome. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, people don't understand. They busy themselves for nothing. With too much uh, trimming grass or, you know, manicuring uh, plants. Yeah, there are so, some manicure plants I'm going to remove also. Uh, just like the fence, you know, the plant they plant around the fence to keep it green or safe or whatever, you know, when they grow thicker together. But I don't want it. If they grow very tall and I don't cut it, then I, it covers my view. If I let people cut it, I don't feel good. I don't want trees to be chopped and cut if truly not necessary. <laughs>